Hi, Sofa came drunk back again with yet yeah, another time to nail review. The one I'm going to review just now, the first for me, it's the Marston's Oyster Stout 4.5 on the Richter scale for this bad boy. Second Marston's beer of the night I've reviewed. I've just done an old empire there, it was rather tasty. So here we are, bottle crown, in the Marston's beer with the English cricket team. Sponsors of the English cricket team for anyone out there down south. <laughs> so, anyway, the Marston's Oyster Stout. As I said, it's a first for me. I actually lied. I was up one of my mates' house, and this, this all appeared to my Nav Check 18. He knows who I'm talking about. I was up in Prague Stevie's one day. Prague Stevie's an old mate of mine's. We've been all over Europe. That's where the Prague bit comes in. That story couldn't be told on the internet. I'll pour it. <clears throat> so anyway, he says, I've got some eels in there if you want to have a go at them. I say, well, what have you got? So what did he do? He produced a bottle of that. Marston's Oyster Stout. Now, you've got to remember this is 2013. So I'm talking 2012 when I was up in his house. The Marston Stout. I'm sitting drinking it. I've never drank it before. Right, never drank this beer before in my life. And I'm tasting it. And I'm thinking to myself, is, that, is it meant to taste like this? <laughs> is, it really got, is it really meant to taste like this? So I went into the kitchen and I picked up the bottle. And I put my furniture on. And it was two years out of date. Yes, two years out of date when I've checked. So it was. So anyway, I was not impressed. Prague Stevie's defence, he says, I thought eels aged. Got better with aged. Come on, to fuck. It was two years out of date. So anyway, moving back onto the beer. I know when you watch this video, you'll phone him up and say, he was slagging you off in the YouTube. And that's the whole idea of it. Because it was this beer, it was Master's Oyster Stout. Marston's Oyster Stout. So we're going to hear for the nose. It's uh, jet black, as you can see. Absolutely no head on it at all. I had it in the fridge for a while, but I took it out. It's been out a good hour before I'm going to drink it, because I know I'm going to get the flavours. Uh, Prague Stevie's Marston Stout. Just look like a, a glass of flat coke. <laughs> now we're in the thick of it. So anyway, go again here for the nose and see what it's all about. Well right away it does not smell anything like the one he gave me. It's got a lovely, lovely smell of cherries uh, from it. A little bit of chocolate and there's a lovely lovely roast about it as well. Oyster stout. I was expecting it to smell of seawater and fish but obviously it doesn't. So anyway, Slangy Va for the Marston's Oyster Stout. 4.5 narrators. All of the above. What I'm getting for that is lovely, lovely cherries. A little bit of the. The, it's, the only way to describe it is uh, you've roasted malt in there as well. It's very, very like. Uh, what's that stuff called? Uh, camp coffee. I don't know if anyone's ever had camp coffee. It's like the liquid coffee made from chicory. It's got a lovely, lovely chicory uh, type uh, coffee. The camp coffee chicory taste to it as well. Very, very thin for it to be a, a stout. It tastes very thin, but very, very nice. 
to be honest with you, for the Marston's Oyster Stout. I got this in uh, one of your budget supermarkets we, we have here in the UK. Uh, I think it was Lidl's. And it was a, a quid a bottle. Now, I only picked up the one of them because I'd never tried it before. And I thought, I'll give it a go. And it, it's actually, it's not that bad, actually. Because I do like my stouts. I do like them. It is... It's a bit thin, like so, like so. Uh, watery feel in the mouth, but it's good. It makes up for, for its flavour, to be honest with you. It's it's a nice glass of beer, to be honest with you. So we're in here as well. It, actually, I, ta I tasted one recently, it was a coconut porter. From the, the Maui uh, Brewing Company. And it had a lovely uh, buttery aftertaste. Now, it had a nice, uh, going back to the, the Maori, uh, the, the Maui Brewing Company beer, sorry. For anyone in the USA, you guys will know all about it. The coconut porter, it's a lovely buttery texture aftertaste. This has got it as well, but it's not got it, it's got a thinner layer, a very, very thin buttery aftertaste. Very much, it's wanting to, it's wanting to, to push on butterscotch, but it's not quite got the, the bite to do so. It's, it's actually not a bad brew. To be honest with you, for a quid, come on, what, what do you want? If you like a stout, give it a shout. It's the Marston's Oyster Stout, 4.5 on the Richter scale. I'm going to give that a Sofa King Drunk rating of, I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. Because it's actually not that bad a brew. There's a lot of people out there probably laugh at this video when they see it and think, Seven out of ten for a for a Marston's oyster stout for a quid a bottle, but I tell you, it's first tried time I've ever tried a, an oyster stout. Uh, unless you you want to drink uh, maybe two sips out of a bottle, it was two years out of date up in your supposedly best friend's house. The man's a crook. That's all I say. The man's a crook. If I get a snide beer off you again. <laughs> Rags TV, your secrets will come out. <laughs> so anyway, this is so fucking drunk with yet another attempt at a nail review. So anyway, if you've had a go at the, the, the Oyster Stout by Marston's, give us a shout. And if not, catch you in an RA review. Slangy bar, keep drinking a good beer.